I throw my gloves down. I'm in despair because the box tree moths are back. They're in there. It is very disheartening sometimes gardening because you do all these things and then try and prevent things. Very disheartening, but I am going to do my best to tackle this. I'm not giving up. I have the British fighting spirit. Before I go any further, let me just say I will put the video, my original video, which has been so successful. So I will link that at the end of this video because it gives all the information of how to set up this box tree moth trap. So what happened was, as I was doing my evening tour of the estate, as I do at the end of the day, and I always check the box tree moth trap, and there's always been nothing in it until two nights ago. And I looked in and there were about three or four moths in there. Look, there's one in there now. So he's just recently caught because he's still alive. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like. There you go, that's a really good shot of one that's just been caught. Anyway, I came out, I saw the moths and I thought, here we go again. So what I did, it was about nine o'clock at night, so I sprayed with this, which is called Zentari, and it's another product that you can use to spray. Um, it's not particularly nice because the caterpillars or eggs that are on the box trees, um, they eat it and it causes poison inside so they kind of die it burns them inside and oh, I'm really sorry that's not nice at all and I don't normally go in for things like that but so I did spray it there and then at nine o'clock at night got all my equipment out but unfortunately it rained overnight and I do need to trim the boxwoods anyway which I hadn't done and I've been putting off so what I'm going to do is trim them all then I will respray with this couple of instances here can you see that there is bitten there I mean it's not a lot this one is a bit more that means something has been chewing on these and they like the fresh beautiful new leaves and this one here also I mean, part of me wants to just give up, say, no, let's dig them up, let's put something else in. But I can't give up. They cost a lot of money. But can you imagine how you would feel if you have spent years doing beautiful big toperies and, and, and some of the boxes are very, very old and beautifully shaped? So can you imagine how you would feel? I mean, mine are just small. But everything costs money and I would do my best to try and treat it. So have a look at the video. That I will link at the end. It will show you exactly about the box tree moth trap and how to fill it all up and everything. You can see these box. I need to trim them and I've been putting it off and the reason is I could not decide whether to do them in little balls or just do a chop at this side all the way along and then down this side and just chop across the top because eventually what I would like is for it to just be one big straight line to the left, one big straight line to the right. But you can see there's quite a big gap in between them. You could fit another whole one in the middle. So it's gonna take an awful long time for that to happen. But it does happen because I'll put a picture up of the, the ones that I have out the front. So you can see here that they were originally balls. First of all, I'll put a picture of what it looked like probably 14 years ago and they were balls and they just grew and grew and then eventually about three years ago I decided to stop shaping them into balls and try and make it into one big hedge and then eventually they joined up and now they look like this so it does work it takes a while but I think I will try and make them into little balls this time and then I will spray them with the Zentari I'll speed the camera up while I trim the balls because this is going to take me a little while which is another reason why I've been putting it off. Well, I tried to find the dust sheet 
because I thought I could collect all the clippings but Richard's gone to work and I think he has the dust sheet so I'm just going to have to clear all the clippings up afterwards so let's get on and shape the box balls first and we will beat this we will give it a good try anyway Okay, so that is a very, very rough job of topiary. I don't think I could even call it topiary. Linda Vater, if you are watching, I apologise. Linda has a YouTube channel, Linda Vater, V-A-T-E-R. If ever you want to see topiary, I believe she lives near Texas, I believe. I watch all her videos on topiary. She is a master at it. But my main point today is to get these sprayed and get them protected. Anyway, we've done a basic shaping. Let's get on with the Zentari mix. This is my sprayer, and you can use any sprayer really, but all you have to remember is you can't then use it for something good. So each sachet here uses one litre of water it's just like a little powder. I'll put that in first and then when I put the water in it will agitate the water. That's it. Then this goes in. There's a strange knack to it, which I don't always have. Sometimes I push it up and down 20 times until it gets... I've stopped, I lost count. There we go. Push it down, turn it round, and we are ready to spray. Let's go and spray these caterpillars and eggs. Right. Spray with one hand, camera with another. There we go. And it's coming out and we're going to go all inside with everything. And I'm going to get these eggs and caterpillars. And if I don't, I can't say I didn't try. You can see on this one that it's been attacked. So they will crawl around, they will find the nice leaves and they will eat the nice leaves and they will ingest poison, I am afraid. Simple as that. Sorry caterpillars. So anyway, you cannot say I haven't tried because I certainly have given it my all. These boxwoods have had my all. They are not um, topiaried particularly well and next time I will have a dust sheet because I do not want to have to pick everything up by hand. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and at least I do have the three box balls over by the fountain that I planted there, they were my spare, so they are my plan B. If any one of these, we have three chances, if any one of these gets decimated, I have three that I can pop in their place. I will keep at it, this box. Ah. Thanks for watching, bye. Read it all, and Lottie. So I sprayed it all there and then, but then unfortunately, so I did spray, Lottie, Lottie. So I sprayed it all then and there, Lottie. Lottie. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. No, I think 
I have the most ridiculous tripod I could have bought. So, but I am going to, this is my main, but my main point today, but we are British and we will fight. 